so uh, hello everyone and uh, in this video uh, what I, I did a small experiment so as we all know the first picture of black hole m87 was out on april 10th this year and as a ai engineer i just wanted to feed this um, black hole image into a very popular deep learning algorithm called convolution neural network and i wanted to see what it makes sense of it what kind of uh, pictures it generated so this video is about that about the results what i got when i feed this black hole image into the ai algorithm so let's see what what results i get so the outline will be as such will uh, <clears throat> We'll first uh, feed this uh, black hole image to popular convolution neural network algorithm and see what the AI algorithm thinks what this uh, image is. And then we'll also try to visualize the intermediate layers of uh, this networks. And then we'll try to do a neural style transfer on these black hole images. And then we'll also try to generate uh, some other deep dream images uh, out of this black hole picture. So let's get started. So, you know, this is this black hole image, uh, M87, and uh, it was taken by Event Horizon Telescope team, and it, it really looks beautiful. And uh, just to complete the definition, from the Epoch Times, it says the black holes are made up of a great amount of matter packed into a very small area, mostly formed from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion. They have a very strong gravitational field that even light can't escape it so i will not explain about it so i am not a physicist but yeah this is one very cool video which shows how this uh, uh, black hole uh, projection of the black the lights from the black hole were captured to form this image and I'll, I'll give the link where you can just go and read and read about it and understand more how the picture was formed so yeah and this is uh, another uh, animation showing the different parts of black hole the singularity event horizon and accretion this again i'll give the link and you can have a look so now uh, let's uh, get started with the ai part so this is a convolution neural network and this is kind of how it looks like we'll we'll feed an input image to this uh, neural network which will have you know different layers of uh, understanding this image and then based on this understanding it will say okay this image is a human being or it's a cat or it's a dog or any such thing and this algorithms are very powerful so this convolution neural network algorithm have learned to recognize almost thousand object classes because they have been trained on 1.2 million uh, data images and they're able to classify you know thousand real real world objects so I wanted to feed this black hole image to this network and see what these algorithms are predicting what this black hole image looks like okay so again this is a very this is not a very good approach because this black hole image was formed by integrating and interpreting different space signals and this is just an image so just from the image what the algorithm interprets so this is one famous network called vgg16 and when i feed this algorithm it gives me top five prediction as this Matchstick 24%, Spotlight 14%, Stuff 10%, Candle 7%, and Volcano 4%. So, and it also makes sense because you see this. This looks like a very bright yellow light. Uh, looks like some flame, and the algorithm was able to say, okay, it's kind of a matchstick. It looks like some burning flame of a matchstick, or it's a spotlight or stuff. So this was pretty cool. So I feed it into another network, a VGG19. And it also predicted, okay, match stick is 19%, some a uh, bit higher probability, some lull train, some stuff and spotlight. Again, it's uh, it's saying that, okay, there's some bright burning flame and it could be this kind, this real world objects. And then I feed into another network called ResNet50 and it also predicted some kind of this flaming objects like it, but it predicted with a very high probability that, you know, this looks like a candle and with 70% or it's a matchstick or, you know, lampshade or spotlight. Light. so yeah so the algorithms were doing pretty cool in uh, uh, recognizing this uh, black hole image as some flamey object and next what i did was i wanted to see what are the internal layers of the algorithm were learning of this image so this is the network so usually deep learning will have a uh, uh, you know a number of layers that's why it's called deep 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 network and different different layers they learn different representation of the input image so this is the representation from the second layer of the image there are 64 uh, images or the filters or the maps what the network has learned and you see it's it's pretty cool 
and it's it's also you know highlighting this bright uh, flamey uh, object so you can see here you can see in this picture you can see in this picture this picture that these flamey objects are being highlighted and also in some of the pictures you know it's it's seeing some whole different kind of features learning this circles the outside circles the different you know the bumps here and uh, it it kind of look like celestial objects already and when you zoom in and see some of the pictures oh my god it, it's it's really beautiful you can see uh, you know it's it's pretty beautiful it looks like some martian or moon or some alien object out of space and yeah this was pretty cool <laughs> so yeah let's see some other layer so this is from further deep layer uh, of this 128 feature map and again you can see it's learning different kind of uh, features from here a different representation you know this bumpy or yeah or only learning this part of the image you know and not learning the other part then some filters only learning this part some okay learning the outside part and so on so there are different filters or different maps they try to interpret the different uh, different features from the image so and when you zoom in again you see this interesting uh, interest, interest, interesting interpretation of the image this you know they're learning trying this two are very bright features and it's trying to capture that and this this filter is trying to capture everything this bright thing and this you know uh, this is trying to capture the outside part this is trying to capture this bumpy uh, part you can see and and it, it makes sense <laughs> and this is another uh, another in another layer interpretation another I think 256 layer or uh, and you can see you know this beautiful pictures being generated and and you can keep on looking <laughs> and when you zoom in again these are some of the uh some of the maps there and then this is uh these are some i think this is a 256 feature maps or 512 i forgot i think it's 256 so these are 256 feature maps and uh, yeah again you can see some interesting patterns being learned here 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 it's learning the inter inner circle the outer circle and then the further outer circle here it's this guy is not learning anything this guy is okay learning some other features and yeah again when you see another layer and you go in deeper and you can see uh, you know more a different representation of the same image and when you zoom in you can see this amazing representation of the same picture you can see like what and all they're learning what all features and all so you can see this all look like amazing celestial objects like some sand on the moon or, or something and this one yeah when you zoom in you can see and in deep learning what happens when you go more deeper they learn those features uh, those which are important for recognizing those objects so you see it it's not focusing on outside object it's only focusing on some some of the uh, some of the parts here this is focusing on some of the part here this is focusing on this part and this part this is focusing on only on this part so different you know as you, different features uh, different uh, filters or kernels they try to see different uh, interpretation of the image and this is the uh, this 512 filter maps and you can see many of the filters are dark they're only taking some part of the object because they're responsible for learning that part of the object and when you zoom in you can see there okay so you can see it's it's pretty dark except few parts which they think uh, it's a higher level representation of that image which can be useful for recognizing those objects you can see here so this was pretty cool and then i i tried another kind of network called neural style transfer where one image will be transferred to the style of the another and then let's let's see it in order to make sense of what i'm saying so this was the black hole image and i wanted to convert into style of this so i fed into neural style transfer network with this and it generated this beautiful image of this original picture of this style and this is another style and you can see this is also amazing this picture in this style and uh, this is another picture in this style so you know AI algorithms are pretty much artistic now and they can generate this beautiful pictures out of this original picture and this is another style this also looks amazing this is another style and this all are pictures that I have generated uh, using this website called deep dim generator where they have provided this algorithm uh, the API for this algorithm you just upload the picture and you can generate your own neural style transfer and another set of algorithms are called deep dream, gen deep dream generator so they as i showed you the different uh, intermediate layers what they learn they also try to uh, enhance and learn different patterns of those intermediate layers and generate hallucinogenic like effects so let's see so this was the input image and you can see this 
this is a this is the image generated by this deep dream generator it's kind of hallucinogenic you can see and this another from taken from and uh, this is another uh, image from this deep dream generator and you can see this interesting eye pattern let's see another image and you can see the eyes and it looks like you know it's kind of hallucinating picture of the same black hole with this bright portion here so and this is another picture of the same black hole through the deep deep generator and you can see uh, this bird like object uh, which is trying to it's trying to find the pattern of bird like object here and yeah this is this is pretty artistic yeah so that, that that's how powerful the AI algorithms are now in creating art and interpreting you know different information so yeah and this is one amazing uh, video and it's it's like when you watch it with the music uh, it's kind of really hallucinating it's it's pretty doped and it shows you the different layers of uh, different layers of uh, the deep dream generator pattern so when you see it for a while you can see different eyes pattern the puppy like pattern and i'll provide the link it's a very nice video uh, and you can go and watch and yeah you'll start getting high by just watching the video <laughs> and this is pretty nice so that's it uh, thank you but yeah before i just close this video uh this is the deep 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 dream generator website and here you can go there and you can upload your own image and uh, you can generate this you know artistic patterns or different style that you saw here and you can have your own account with uh, likes and followers and all the stuff so this is also pretty cool you can see the trending the latest and uh, the best and and whatnot so uh, my internet is pretty slow now but yeah just go and have a look at it and you can create your own styles and everything so that's all for now thank you so much and uh, keep learning keep exploring neurons